Okay, I've now been constricted by a robotic snake. Seeing as we're gonna have a new Star Wars movie every year, I thought I'd mention that as an electrical engineer and as a movie special effects technician, I had the opportunity to work on R2-D2 for Star Wars Episodes 1, 2, and 3. One of the things that I did was put modern electronics into the droids, update those systems, and I actually designed a circuit board that had an 8-bit microcontroller, microchip uh, pick, that replaced this whole power-hungry spinning light box, and I replaced all those LEDs, and the microcontroller simulated that look of having this kind of uh, undulating effect that's used in R2 now. I've always had this interest. It's like two halves of my mind, the technology aspect and the creative aspect. And so what I wanted to do was try and find a way to combine those things. And how I actually managed to combine both of those things is I went to USC and studied electrical engineering, but they also had this incredible cinema school. And that's what uh, made a, a technical creative career possible. The secret to the perfect potato cannon has to be having a good seal. If your propellant leaks out, you are not going to get ignition, you're not going to get any range, and believe me, I've failed many times with potato cannons, so I think that that's the key. Thank you.